I do not need a fight dude. If you haven't been living under a rock, then you are probably aware of the agenda people have had against Captain Marvel since day one. Whether it's because of Brie Larson being vocal about her wishes for the industry or for the movie simply existing. But here's the thing, we have had many celebrities being vocal about something not everyone agrees with. I mean, there are tons of people who hate Gal Gadot simply for being from Israel, which is equally stupid by the way. But Wonder Woman was still allowed to be judged on its own merits as a movie. Except for a few trolls here and there, Gal Gadot's political views did not overshadow the film. And as for people simply not wanting female-led movies to succeed, again, Alida Balo Angel was mostly supported by everyone, even though the movie wasn't that great. And we have had countless female characters leading a movie franchise people love, and it has never been a problem. So why cut the Marvel? And why the eight? Well, let's discuss. I do not need a 40 year old white dude to tell me what didn't work for him about a wrinkle in time. It wasn't made for him. Everything started here. One speech is all it took for fanboys and men babies to feel insecure and fear that a woman was coming to take away their favorite franchise. I'm not even kidding. And that's what I think is the difference between regular movies with female leads and the female-led MCU film. After 20 movies with male leads and female characters in the background, a lot of people felt a sense of ownership and felt the MCU had a tradition and a routine in the sense of who is always going to be front and center in this universe. When thinking about making this video, I legit thought Captain Marvel was the most hated movie in a big franchise ever until I remembered there was another one that came out just two years ago and that was The Last Jedi. And surprise surprise, a lot of people hate The Last Jedi for the exact same reason they hate Captain Marvel too much focus on women and no i'm not saying anyone who hates the last jedi and captain marvel is sexist i didn't like captain marvel i made a whole ass video about it i had problems with ray as a character in the force awakens also i made a whole video about it i thought she was better in the last jedi but i thought the movie as a whole had a lot of issues but you know the difference between people like me and the rest we offer constructive criticism because we want the best for our entertainment. We are paying for it, of course our opinion matters. But then there are people who are simply obsessed and to some degree hateful and toxic. What in the world is Disney doing right now? How are they allowing this person to continue to disrespect a majority of the fan base? Brie Larson isn't letting her Captain Marvel press tour be overwhelmingly white male. This movie, Captain Marvel, is the most protected movie I have ever seen. If you're celebrating this movie, congratulations, you are celebrating the downfall of entertainment. Body language, Brie Larson. Because I've done a few videos talking about the fact that Brie Larson and all of the cast members of the Avengers, it seems like they don't like her. It seems like they are very uncomfortable around her. Don Cheadle is defending Brie Larson from a sexist body language expert after the in-game press tour. Anybody with two eyes can watch these interviews with Brie Larson and Don Cheadle and Chris Hemsworth and tell that they don't like each other. This woman is going to kill the MCU. That's obsession. And that's not even about Captain Marvel as a film. That's not constructive criticism. That doesn't contribute anything to the conversation. That will not help the filmmakers make better movies for you. And that's the biggest problem. You know, in some ways, I feel that you know this film is a, is a little overdue, if we're being honest. It's you know, the 21st uh, film in the MCU. Do I blame Marvel for waiting over 10 years to introduce diversity and letting fine boys think this franchise was allowed to have women only in the background? Do I blame Star Wars for putting focus in the films only on men protagonists until after Disney bought the rights to the franchise? Of course not. I think initially the fire was started by both camps though. Brie Larson having good intentions but being sloppy in the way she expresses herself. Kathleen Kennedy and Ryan Johnson straight up going to war with the fans. All of that contributed to the hate we see around those films today. Let's not forget that Captain Marvel was already a very divisive character in the comics and a lot of geeks don't like her for the exact same reason they don't like Brie Larson. 
They just feel like she is too political and that the writers are shoving her down people's throats. What does Marvel do? Hire a very vocal actress like Brie Larson and try mm, a bit too hard to sell a character to the audience? What did they expect? How about a smile for me, huh? How about a handshake? <laughs> Here's a proposition for you. You're gonna give me your jacket, your helmet, and your motorcycle, and in return, I'm gonna let you keep your hand. I need your clothes, your boots, and your motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> So this clip right here was released by Marvel I believe 2 or 3 days ago and it set the internet on fire. Some people straight up calling Captain Marvel a villain for crushing this asshole's hand and taking his motorcycle. Hey, first of all, fuck sexual abusers. I cheered when Clark Kent destroyed this fuckhead's truck and we need more superheroes fucking these people up. Don't crush his hand next time. Fucking blast that mother- And that's what's so sad about the whole Captain Marvel issue. It's so clear there are people out there desperately looking for reasons to hate it. And not just the movie but also the actress and the character in general. I personally thought Carol Danvers had a lot of potential even though the movie didn't grab me. I thought the character showed progress in Avengers Endgame based on a few scenes she was in. And Brie Larson is just such an amazing actress but unfortunately for her she keeps getting roles where she's only allowed to have one facial expression. First in Kong School Island and now Captain Marvel. And normally I would think it could be the actress choice but I've seen a couple of movies where she showed a lot more range and I just think with movies like Captain Marvel she just wasn't given anything to work with so she did her best also I truly believe she is a good person and means well fighting for women's rights on film cannot be something you can be hated for and honestly it pains me seeing that so many people just decided to pretend they don't understand her intentions and are willing to go as far as making up rumors about her and a relationship with other cast members seriously to all those idiots i just want to say <laughs> Thanks for watching.